just wanted to um, read you your story for the week, and so you have that. And um, I thought we could do the flower, five little flowers, one more time. Um, so let's start with the story, and then we can do the five little flowers. And um, I think it would be so fun if you made the different color flowers, even. Um, so maybe I'll look for something to send for you to do that, or you can just cut them out of paper. Whatever is easier, or just color on your fingers. That's always fun. <laughs> okay, so the book I wanted to read you is called Puddle Man. All right. One morning, Michael filled his sandbox with water and jumped in. Don't do that, dear, warned the nice lady from next door. You're going to get it, said Michael's little brother. Hey, have fun in the mud, turkey, yelled the glass grinder twins. But Michael wasn't listening. He was busy mixing mud. The more mud Michael mixed, the more mixed up in the mud he got. More and more messy and muddy and mixed up until there was all mud and no Michael. The glass grinder twins peeked into the sandbox. The mud was very still. Oh boy, they whispered. Michael's mom won't like this. Suddenly, the sandbox started to shake. The mud began to move and a great muddy monster shot up. Puddle Man! The nice lady from next door fainted. Michael's little brother began to cry and the glass grinder twins ran away. Mud! cheered Puddle Man as he danced around the sandbox. Mud, mud, mud! Soon the whole yard was covered with mud. That's much better, said Puddle Man, and he plopped down into his puddle. The mud slurped between his fingers and squished between his toes. It felt smooth and cool, like sitting in a big bowl of melting ice cream. Perfect, said Puddle Man. began to sing, and as he sang, he built an amazing mud castle. It had towers and bridges and a moat all around. Then he drew great muddy faces and watched them disappear. He made a giant mud pie across the top. He wrote his name. But making put mud pies made Puddle Man feel hungry, and when he was hungry, he wanted one thing, peanut butter. It looked like mud, but it tasted a whole lot better. Puddleman went back to the back door of Michael's house and shouted, I want a peanut butter sandwich. Peanut well, butter said sandwich. Michael's mother, looking surprised, don't you know that peanut butter is for peanut boys butter. and girls, not muddy monsters? It is, said Puddleman. I'm afraid so, said Michael's mother. Muddy monsters eat mud pies. She started to close the door. Wait, he cried. I'm really a little boy. You don't look like one to me, said Michael's mother. You look like a muddy monster. No, 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 insisted Puddle Man. I'm Michael. Michael's mother laughed. You can't fool me, she said. But if you see Michael, tell him his peanut butter sandwich is ready. Then she closed the door. Puddleman jumped off the porch. He kicked the grass and made nasty faces. He was so angry that he didn't see he was in danger. Wham! Something smacked into Puddleman from behind. He ran for his life. The water hissed and splattered around him, and Puddleman leaped into his mud puddle. Hee hee hee, giggled the glass grinder twins. 
that takes care of him. They marched away with their noses high in the air. Puddleman was furious. He had no peanut butter and he had nearly been washed away and now he had squashed his castle. Clouds were gathering in the sky and big drops of rain began to fall. The puddle grew cold and Puddleman shivered. How could he ever get a peanut butter sandwich if peanut butter was for girls and boys? Puddleman sighed, a great muddy tear dripped from his eye. Just then, Puddleman saw Michael's cat lying in the grass. With that hat, thought Puddleman, no one would think I was a muddy monster. I look just like Michael. Puddleman put on Michael's cap and began to walk towards the house. As he crossed the yard, something curious began to happen. What's happening? Is the light coming at him? I think so. A long shadow stretched across the porch and crept up the door. Michael's little brother peeked out. Is that the monster, he whispered. No, it's Michael, said Puddleman. It's a very dirty Michael, said Michael's mother. I'll bet you're hungry. By the time lunch was over, the rain had stopped. Puddleman went outside with Michael's little brother. It's easy being Michael, thought Puddleman, but it sure is boring. Hey, called the glass grinder twins. Want to come over here and help us make mud? Off flew Michael's cat. Puddleman grinned and started to run. As he leapt into the mud puddle, he cheered, mud, mud, mud. Uh-oh, cried Michael's little brother, and he ran inside to hide. The end. There we go, isn't that a funny story? So I hope none of you guys turn yourselves into Puddle Man, but maybe you'll play in the mud and get a little bit muddy and have a peanut butter sandwich afterwards or a sunflower butter sandwich or whatever. So yeah, I thought that was a great story. And during the story, Sloan bought me some flowers and these are the dandelions that I mentioned, oh, in the other video, they're very, very small. But there you can see, you can see some of the petals, the corollas, and the stamens, and the pistil. There's the calyx and the stem. So that's fun. They're very tiny still because they just started to grow. And every time before we pick anything out of the ground, we want to make sure it's okay. We don't just pick um, flowers out of other people's gardens or um, out of our gardens. We always make sure we hand pick them. Okay, and then I thought we could do our little poem one more time. And if you guys remember, it goes like this. Five little flowers growing in a row. The first one said, I'm purple, you know. The second one said, I'm pink as can be. The third one said, I'm blue like the sea. The fourth one said, I'm a very red fellow. The fifth one said, my color is yellow. Then out came the sun, big and bright. And five little flowers smiled in delight. And I was saying you guys can make little flower um, finger puppets, or maybe you could cut them out like we did for the five little frogs and put them on um, popsicle sticks. So those are just some ideas. And I hope you have fun exploring um, nature and everything that's growing right now. And um, yeah, I, have, I hope you have a great week. And I will see you next week. Alright, take care my friends. Bye.